What's up? Gypsy man, Gypsy man racing. It's been a while since I posted a video. Been working on some other projects, but uh, we're back in the garage. So what we got here, we have a 2007 BMW K1200S. And what we've done so far, because I've already started, was removing the bottom belly pants. And what the problem is, is that it was leaking oil really bad. And my suspicion is that, as you can see, the exhaust is already off. And I'll make a video on how to install and remove, because it's basically the reverse order, a full exhaust on a BMW K1200S. Let's see. And we got the uh, O2 sensor. So, what we got here is, you see there's oil all over the radiator, but it's oil all over the bottom of the belly pan. Okay, my suspicion is that it's coming from here, because this is where most of the wetness is. You can see it's all the way around to the front, and that's the only place that oil is coming out of the engine. If you look here, you can see the other sealing is still good and there's no leaks and no wetness coming from that area that's the engine casing you come up top you see that none is coming from this case the right cover for the clutch we've already taken off the exhaust and all the wetness was coming up here as it was blowing out of the engine I believe that the issue was here right around this seal this area it's actually dry back here but I believe that the problem is coming from here the seal so we're gonna take the belly pan off and replace the seal so I'm gonna rest the camera I'm gonna show you the first step which is removing the oil removing the oil from the bike So I'm going to try to see which hex goes in here and I'll let you know what size you'll need in order to remove the oil plug. Alright, so that's an 8 millimeter that you're going to need to remove the oil. Okay, lefty, t lefty loosey, righty tidy. So let's remove this. If there's any oil left in there, because it was really leaking oil, a lot of oil, and there's plenty of oil in there. So even with these leaks, and as much that was coming out, you still have plenty of oil in there. So. It's, They'll have it, at least enough oil. We started to hear a little rattle, but that's because the oil was low. So that should go away when we add the oil back in. Okay. Make sure you clean that up. A lot of metal. But that's normal. Just metal residue, no chunks. So that's a good sign, too. That's a really good sign. So we're going to let that drain. And I'm going to show you the other area on a K1200 that you have to drain it. And there's other BMW models that have the same way of changing the oil. So, the second place to drain the oil, it's here underneath the seat. You have to take this tube off this tube you're going to fish it down down here it's going to twist over and you're going to let it drain into the pail okay so we're going to move that over we're going to take this off we're going to squeeze and 
this pops off like so you're gonna fish it down down bring it around and you can see that the oil is coming out okay so that's basically how you do an oil change on this bike I'm gonna rest this here I'm gonna grab another pan catch the rest of this oil basically no actually we don't need to do that so put the oil plug back in This is how you drain the oil and change the oil from uh, G, the G series and the K series actually. And we'll change that oil up. Now when we put the oil back in, the oil, once you put the tube back on, it's gonna it's gonna all settle. And you'll see the oil will fill up this tube up until a certain point. And that's how you know the oil is in the um it's all filled up in the uh, reservoir but as you can see here there's a line here which gives you the max and minimum of the oil levels and basically where that lines up as you put oil up it'll fill up inside that tube and it'll come up to one of those lines and that's how you know how much is the proper level of the oil in this bike okay as you come around Because it's BMW, everything's opposite. So you have your oil filter here. That's where you will remove your oil filter. And as you come up, this is where you'll fill the oil up. Okay? So that's how you'll properly do that. So when we come back, I'll show you how to uh, take off the, uh, the other parts once this oil comes off. We're gonna take off. This heat shield with the exhaust and as you come around you'll see that it's just the bolts here here and it feels like there's only two and that's correct so there's only two that's your oil your eight millimeter and we'll take off the bolts here we'll take off all these bolts and I like to do it in a certain order. Take all those off, okay? So when we come back, I'll show you me taking out all these bolts. Peace. So, so far what I did was I took the liberty of loosening up the bolts. Now I like to use the pattern of going from corner to corner, corner to corner, and I'll go opposite sides just to loosen them up okay I like to take my bolts out evenly uh, with approximately the same type of torque because I don't want to bend anything up also as you can see is the oil is finally really finally started uh, trickling so it's pretty much empty alright so I'm going to take these out I've already loosened them up and I'm going to get on the other side and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. What I like to do is, I'll use my torque wrench on this, but you got to be very careful with a torque wrench, especially with the BMWs and the finer bikes that use a lot of aluminum parts. But I think I can get away with taking the bolts out pretty evenly with this. Pretty easy. I think there's only seven 
newton meters of pressure in there i'm going to lay my bolts out exactly exactly the way i took them out and i know this is the first bolt because i marked it with a sharpie i can come on this side and i can take these out okay i've already loosened the torque so it doesn't really matter how you take them out and what order you take them out as long as you put them back the same way you took them out at least that's the way i like to do I'm actually going to leave one of them in there, just a little bit, just a little bit. Take that out. And the reason I left that in there is when I start to take the bolt out, and when I put them back in, I'm put it right behind that one. I know which what order I'm taking this out in. That's exactly the order they're going to go back in. You won't have any problems that way. You can even go as far as taking them out and making a chart when you lay it out. I'm not going to make the chart, but if I was doing valves or anything like that, I would definitely make a chart of the intake and outtake on the exhaust. Nice and easy. I got my order right there. And yes, some people will say, well, are the bolts different sizes? No, they're not different sizes. I just like to stay consistent with the way I do things. So no, the bolts are not unique. Now, if I was working on the S1000, these bolts would have to be replaced. But the manual didn't call for these bolts to be replaced once you have them out and I can go ahead and take all the bolts out it's not going to just drop out so we're going to check our work make sure we got all the bolts alright so we got all the bolts out Check on both sides. All right. Now, how are we going to take that off? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this oil plug back up where it belongs. Reconnect it. I'm going to move this oil pan. Actually, I don't even have to use it. I'll just use a small one. So let's move our bolts out the way. I'm just going to move them down. So I'm going to do this raw and uncut so you can see what this really takes. That's how I like to do my videos. So you're going to see every got a soft mallet and I'm just going to tap it just going to tap it it's already starting to get loose I'm just going to tap it so we got it off nice and easy and you can see some of the gasket 
it's still on there. We're gonna have to clean that up. Have to clean up all that gasket. Okay, some of the gasket was actually an oil strain. And I can actually see just by examining it that I believe our corporate was the oil pan and I'm gonna show you why I believe that I'm gonna show you up close why So let's go outside and I want to show you why I think it was the oil. And maybe some of y'all can see it already. You can see that the oil, where I believe it was leaking, which was the front of the oil pan, is wet with oil. Look at all that oil that's on there. Sorry about the noise, but look at all that oil that's on the front of the pan, where the oil was coming out. Now look at the rest of the pan, look how dry the back of the pan is. See how dry that is? So that's why I believe it was the oil, oil pan up front and the gasket, was, it was just time to change it out. And we're gonna clean that up. We're gonna drain all the oil out of this. And we're gonna clean that up. Now let me see if we can see and I hope that my camera gets this. Let's see what the bottom of the pan looks like. Now this is the back. You see how dry that is? You see how dry that is? And then you start to see how wet it gets up front. See how wet it gets up front? I believe that was the culprit of our oil issue so we just need to clean that up I'm gonna get some gasket remover but it doesn't look like there's any gasket on there I might be able to just wipe it it's so clean BMW make, does a superb job with the engineering and you don't need a whole bunch of sealing on there but you do need sealing it doesn't have a gasket on this and while I'm here I can look at his some of his gearing make sure that they're looking good there's no marring and things like that while I'm in here this is part of his transmission and everything looks good everything looks good so I'm gonna clean this up really good see how clean I just wipes away it's just old oil and I'm going to just clean up all of that, make it dry, bone dry. So I use a little parts cleaner, get that bone dry like the rest of it. Remove any gasket that's remaining on there. You got to get all that off. You're going to get all that off. We don't even have to use any type of solvent to get the gasket off. It's just rubbing right off because it was just ready. It was just time. All right, so I'm gonna do that. When I get back, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put the uh, old pan back on. But first, I have to order more. I'm gonna use Yamaha Bond for Yam by Yamaha. That's the sealant I like to use on my engine casings. I've had good luck with that. It hasn't leaked, and if you go on the internet, it has great reviews. Other people like to use the Honda. But if you've never seen inside the bottom of your engine where the oil pickup and the oil strainer is, this is it. This is what it looks like. Sorry for the wheel cam weird camera angles. I don't know if I'm getting them well or not, but that's it. That's our bike. Alright, so I'm going to clean up that oil pan. I'm going to order this sealant, have it come out because mine actually got hard. I actually have some, but it got hard. And then we're going to button it up. That will be our next segment. All right. Peace.